Andrea here, aka the Barefoot Bombshell, and I hope you're not tired of me because this is like my third video I posted, but I've got the time, so I just want to do this. Um, one of the questions that I got a lot was, do you believe in terminal length, and is there a genetic reason why my hair is stuck at shoulder length, okay? I have several women who have written to me that says they cannot get their hair, no matter what they do, to grow past their shoulders. Um, and I did write them back, and they would tell me what their hair regimen was, and I know that there's some different things in their regimen that were contributing to that shoulder length hair and not the DNA. But first, let me talk to you guys about terminal length. To answer your question, yes, I do believe in terminal length. Uh, it has been scientifically proven by people who are hair specialists and scientists, okay? There is a genetic... Uh, predisposition that we have that determines how long our scalp naturally holds onto a strand of hair before it sheds, okay? Now all of these hairs are not going to shed at the same time because if they did there would be about a 9 to 11 month period where we all would be bald headed. So they all uh, shed at a different time because they've grown in at different times but they naturally, if we don't interrupt, there is a natural point at which they will shed on their own, okay? And you can tell the difference between a shed hair and a broken hair is because a shed hair will have that little white tip and that's usually because right before the hair is about to be shed our body doesn't give melanin to the hair strand so that little part is white okay so that's usually when you can see a shed hair you've got that little white tip if you see a piece of hair coming in your comb and there's no white tip then that's an indicator that there's some breakage okay and it could be through your manipulation through the comb uh, maybe your hair is dry there's several factors but that's breakage okay um, now what I want to say is the part of the terminal uh, hair length uh, belief that has been misconstrued is what length means in that term. People hear length and they assume that they're talking about the actual strand of hair, how long your hair will grow. And so people are sitting there believing that there's this thing in your follicle that goes, oh, oh, oh my hair's uh, shoulder length, I better stop growing now because I'm not wired to grow longer. That is not true. That is not what the terminal hair length length science is about. It's saying that there's a certain length of time, not length of hair, length of time before your you are genetically predispositioned to shed that hair. Now, most of us have no idea what our actual terminal length is because we are constantly interfering with that natural shedding process with poor hair care maintenance practices, okay? We put a lot of heat on our hair, we color our hair, um, we handle our hair really rough because we assume because it's kinky it's strong and it's not, it's very delicate hair. So those are things that we're doing. Um, that's part, I mean, that's what we experience when we go to the salon. Our, our hair care professionals in most cases are not gentle with our hair. So we haven't really been taught how to care for our hair. So we don't have an idea of what this terminal length is, okay? So let's just say, let's just be modest and say that your terminal hair length is four years, which is the average terminal hair length. Some people's are longer, some people's shorter, but average is four years. Let's say that you have an average amount of hair, which would be a hair growth a month, which would be a little less than half an inch, okay? So if you there's six, you know, 12 months in a year, and let's say you do a little bit less than, than half an inch. So let's say your hair goes just, just under six inches a year. And let's say your terminal hair length is four um, years. Do you know what I mean? So right there alone, you're looking at over 20 inches of growth. How many of you in four years have ever seen 20 inches of growth in your hair? Probably not much. So you've convinced yourself, oh, my hair won't grow long. Well, I have to ask. Are you conditioning your hair? Are you doing gentle maintenance of your hair? Are you protecting your, doing protective styling to protect the ends of your hair? Because again, those ends are the old hair. That's the fragile hair, okay? And the oil from the scalp doesn't go down that far if you have Afro-textured hair. So you have to be supplementing that. Are you putting artificial chemicals in your hair that make your hair feel a certain way but aren't exactly giving the hair the aftertreat? attribute. You could use a product that has uh, silicones in it so you have this great slip, but is it really moisturizing your hair? No, it's not. It's giving you a plastic coating to the hair that gives you this softness, but your hair is not actually moisturized, so it, guess what? It still breaks off. So 
that is what actually really has an influence on the length of your hair than the DNA. All the DNA is saying is that, you know what, we're going to wait about four years before we drop this, 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 this hair strand. Or you know what, we're going to wait about six years before we drop this hair. What you do in that four year time is up to you. What you do in that six year time is up to you. And your hair health is a direct reflection of that. If you have a healthy diet, if you have excellent hair care practices, there is absolutely no reason as a, a person with afro textured hair that your hair cannot reach past your shoulders, past your bra, down your butt. I've seen it. There's girls on YouTube that have hair like this. I've seen women in the street that have hair like this. And if that is your goal, that your objective, don't be discouraged by this terminal length that you have in your head. That you have no control over, but you do have control over the, the flat ironing and the chemical dye, all of that you have control over. Do your research, find out what works for your hair and what doesn't. One of the biggest, biggest influence of any sort of effect on the body is our diet, okay? Um, a lot of us are eating foods that are heavy, heavy, heavy in hormones, and so that affects your hair growth pattern is extremely affected by hormones. That's why when women are pregnant, they have this huge, uh, they say their hair is growing a lot. It's not really growing that much. It's just that when you are pregnant, your hair is like not a factor for the body. So your body is not even focusing on shedding hair. It's focusing on everything going to the baby. So that's why after you have the baby, that's when your hair starts to shed and whatnot. And you, oh my God, my hair is falling out. No, it's your natural shedding process that would be there anyway has now kicked in. Okay, so those are huge factors. So do real research. When you hear these big terms around on YouTube, do research, find out where they come from on your own, and you'll find out that a lot of the stuff that you're hearing is not true. So yes, I believe in terminal hair length, but I do not believe that determines how long your actual strand can be in that time that your body is predispositioned before shedding the hair. So I hope that answered your question. I want you to stay encouraged on your hair journey and really look at your, your manipulation and management of your hair practices if you have noticed stunted growth. All right, take care.